Michael Cohen is set to deliver a blistering account of his dealings as President Donald Trump's longtime attorney Wednesday, casting his former boss as a conman and racist, while tying the White House more directly than ever to multiple investigations that have shadowed Trump's presidency. In a prepared statement to Congress, Cohen asserted that Trump knew in advance that WikiLeaks planned to release stolen emails damaging to political rival Hillary Clinton, that he personally reimbursed Cohen for an illegal hush money payment to a porn star, and that the president indirectly encouraged him to lie to Congress about his pursuit of a potentially lucrative Trump Tower development in Moscow, even as Trump repeatedly denied any business interests in Russia throughout the 2016 campaign. Cohen also suggested that Trump knew in advance of a June 2016 meeting at Trump Tower, headed by Donald Trump Jr. In which a Russian lawyer promised to provide damaging information on Clinton. I recalled Don Jr. Leaning over to his father and speaking in a low voice, which I could clearly hear, and saying, the meeting is all set. I remember Mr. Trump saying, OK, good. Let me know. The series of events described by Cohen, who is set to begin a three year prison term for pleading guilty to a string of financial crimes and lying to Congress, are at the heart of several ongoing criminal investigations, including Justice Department Special Counsel Robert Mueller's inquiry into Russia's interference in the 2016 election. In addition to his written statement, Cohen will appear at the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee hearing Wednesday armed with documents that appeared to back up some of his claims, including a $35,000 check signed by Trump. Cohen said the check was one of 11 installment payments to reimburse him for the hush money payment to adult film star Stormy Daniels, who claims to have had an affair with Trump. Other installment checks were signed by Donald Trump Jr. and Trump Organization Finance Chief Alan Weisselberg, Cohen said. Trump didn't even wait for Cohen to begin his testimony before firing back from Vietnam, where he was meeting with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Michael Cohen was one of many lawyers who represented me, unfortunately, Trump tweeted from Hanoi, site of his second summit with Kim. He had other clients also. Noting that Cohen has been disbarred, the president said he did bad things unrelated to Trump and is lying in order to reduce his prison time. Cohen's statement, however, went beyond alleged Trump's business and campaign dealings to describe his former boss of a racist. Publicly, Cohen said, Trump courted white supremacists and bigots. In private, he was even worse, the attorney said. He once asked if I could name a country run by a black person that wasn't a shithole. While we were once driving through a struggling neighborhood in Chicago, he commented that only black people could live that way. And he told me that black people would never vote for him because they were too stupid. And yet I continued to work for him. The House Committee's chairman, Rep. Elijah Cummings, D. Maryland. has said lawmakers plan to ask Cohen, who worked as a lawyer and problem-solver for Trump, for details on everything from Trump's finances to the operation of his private business. They plan to scrutinize whether Trump complied with tax laws and campaign finance regulations. Cohen has confessed to committing crimes for Trump's benefit, and he appeared ready to unload on the president. A person familiar with his testimony, who was not authorized to describe it publicly, said Tuesday that he was prepared to accuse Trump of criminal conduct since the start of his presidency. Trump's defenders appeared equally ready for fireworks. 
hours before Cohen was due to testify, one of the president's staunchest defenders in Congress, Rep. Matt Getz, our Florida, asked him on Twitter whether his wife and father-in-law know about your girlfriends. He mused, I wonder if she'll remain faithful when you're in prison. She's about to learn a lot. Cohen had long been among Trump's most voluble defenders. But last year, before he was sentenced to prison, he told a judge he had been blinded by misguided loyalty. Time and time again, I felt it was my duty to cover up his dirty deeds, he said at the time. Cohen, the combative lawyer who once vowed that he would take a bullet for his former boss, has pleaded guilty and agreed to cooperate in investigations of Russian interference in the 2016 election and illegal payments to women who claim to have had sex with Trump. Both Cohen and the Justice Department have alleged in court that Trump directed Cohen to make the payments, though they stopped short of alleging that the president himself had violated the law. Trump has said he was not involved in Cohen's crimes and has described his former lawyer as a liar and a rat. White House spokeswoman Sarah Sanders said it's laughable that anyone would take a convicted liar like Cohen at his word and pathetic to see him given yet another opportunity to spread his lies. Cohen is scheduled to begin serving a three-year prison term on May 6. He testified on Tuesday before a closed session of the Senate Intelligence Committee and is scheduled to testify again before the House Intelligence Committee on Thursday. Both panels are investigating Russian election interference 